Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Daniel McGuire here. I'm sorry I haven't been uploading a lot recently. A lot of family and personal issues came up that I had to attend to, and then school started ramping up again now that I'm in week seven, week eight. So finals right around the corner right before summer break. But anyway, going into today's video, I'm gonna be talking about the differences between the University of California, Irvine, in particular a lot of public school systems, which is the UC system, and going into that differences between a high school or maybe a junior college that you're going into. So let's get to it. Now, quick disclaimer, this video will be mainly talking about public school route and in particular, like I said, the UC system. I've heard the same things from other students who go to UC schools versus my own opinion. So that's what I'm gonna be talking about because obviously other schools, maybe like a private school is completely different. So this is for a public university in the state of California. So the first thing is that the teachers are very, very ruthless. They kind of don't really care about you. It's not like high school where they kind of coddle you and everybody graduates, you know, no student left behind kind of thing. It's all just a matter of like what they really want to do. They don't really have any particular reason to care about you. You're just a number to them. In particular, STEM, you know, they really just want to push out as many people as they can so they can focus on their research. So that's one thing that is very different is the teachers and their mindset versus why they want to teach. A lot of them really don't even want to be teachers. A lot of them just really want to do their research and get funding for it. And they just have to teach on the side. So keep that in mind. Okay, the next big thing that you really have to be considerate about is that nobody's really going to be here to coddle you through everything. You're not going to have your parents be able to dispute a grade for you potentially. You may have a coach that could dispute a grade or help you or maybe another faculty member, but for the most part, you're going to be self-accountable whether you fail a test or whether you get 100% on it. It's all your fault and all your responsibility. Nobody's going to be there again to fight a grade. If you fail it, you fail it and you move on. You live through it. If you fail a class, you just wasted money and you're going to have to retake that class if it is a prerequisite for another course that you take in your major. So just really be wary of that because I know in high school the teachers really work with you to try and just get you to pass get you that minimum C C minus to pass the class versus in college they'll give you a C minus and that's just considered being fair to them they don't mind giving out F's I know one of my professors gave out failing grades to about 25 to 35 percent of the class in one year and then the next year he failed 45 to 50 percent of the class and he just didn't care he just said you know what they don't deserve it so they aren't going to get it and they don't really have a quote of as to how many people they have to pass or fail so keep that in mind again it's going to be talking more about the stem field with types of engineering and other mathematical grades that i've been able to take so keep that in mind now going back to what i just mentioned about failing classes and failing professors you know, there are going to be times in college where you might fail a test or fail a class and you have to retake it. You know, it's that's just a part of it. You know, I think that's a great mindset to go into. You know, it's going to push you and it's going to challenge you to really give it your best. And if you, if you still come out short, then you can just retake the class and then do better for it. It is hard. You know, college is a lot harder than the high school system. Even the AP classes don't really prepare you for how difficult some of these tests are because you're balancing out a college professor who really is ahead of the game and he's dumbing down the material as much as he can or she so you really just have to be considerate of just how well you're going to be able to prepare for an exam because tests are a lot harder in college and they don't really grade on a big curve and if there is a little curve it'll help you out a little bit but you still have to be somewhere in the average to do well on the test now a big thing that i was just mentioning about failing tests and passing tests is finals in high school, I think maybe one or two of my finals were kind of important, but those really just came down in maybe like an end of unit test or an end of chapter test. Versus in college, a final is very, very important. It's one of my classes this quarter, the finals were 50% of my final grade. So if I do bad on that final, I might not pass the class. So that's one thing that you really have to actually strive for. You know, you really do have to study a lot harder. That's why you get more time to study for these finals. And it is a longer exam versus in high school. I think you get maybe an hour and a half to take it. But most of the time you're done in like 30, 40 minutes. Because again, it is maybe an end of chapter, end of unit exam. And again, if you fail it, it's not that big of a deal. You, you know, you still get curved up or you'll still get really pushed to help pass the class. In college, if you fail the final, that's dictating to the professor that you don't know the material. So they'll be more inclined to fail you or really give you a lower grade if you had maybe an A, A plus going into the final. They'll really dock you grades. I remember in one of my math classes my freshman year, I had an A minus going into the final and I absolutely bombed the final and I ended up with, I think, a C plus, B minus. So it tanked me a full letter grade because I really just didn't go into that mindset with that final with a great attitude. So. Keep that in mind, finals in college really matter. In particular for STEM, it is just so much more difficult than anything I experienced in high school. Now, the last thing that I wanted to talk about was just gonna be kind of that open-mindedness and open fair policy that a lot of colleges have. You know, you can really do anything you want in college, whether that be study extra hard, whether that be go out and party, whether that be date around, whether that just be experienced college, however you want to experience it. It's really up to you and there's no real judging factor. You know, you can find your niche, you can find your group of people that you really enjoy being with and that could be all that you decide to do. You don't have to venture out, you know, it's not like high school where you get 
bullied because you see the same 10, 15, 20, 30 people all the time. You know, in the college campus you have, in particular at UCs, you have upwards of 30, 40,000 undergrads. So they're kind of just all over the place. Everyone's really focused on themselves. Nobody's really focusing on trying to single out one particular person as much. So just really, you know, you have that open-mindedness, you have that fair justice that you can really just be whoever you want in college. And that's one thing that really differs about high school where you, again, you don't see the same 50, 60 people for three or four years, you know, you see different people all the time. I, quarter to quarter, I don't even see some of the people that like I consider my friends from one class to the next because we're not taking the same classes. So it is different and you just get to experience that the way you want to. All right, so just kind of remember that it is mainly for a public University of California system school that I just mentioned. You know, private schools are completely different. You know, maybe you'll have everything that I just say not apply to your college, but just kind of keep that in mind that it is for a public school where you know there are more professors and there are more students you're paying a little bit less but you're getting a great education so you just have to keep that in mind so as i mentioned earlier i also have had a little bit of family issues but don't worry i should be uploading a lot more consistently now i think my content will be start getting better it's about to be summer so i'm about to go on my trip to europe so i'll be vlogging a lot of that so stick around and if you guys want to keep up with that make sure you subscribe to the channel ring the bells to get notified when i have a future upload let me know what you guys think about this video or any questions that you might have about it in the comments below i appreciate all the feedback that i've had on my last few videos in particular the pros and cons of UCI. If you haven't seen that video, go ahead and check it out. But again, thank you for watching.